Hi, I'm Edith Harba. I'm the CEO and co-founder of LaunchDarkly. So I've been in engineering and product for over 10 years, and from the beginning, what I saw was that speed was a competitive advantage. Um, I got patents um, back in the Java days in terms of how to move portals between staging to production, because if you could do that quickly, it could actually make you more productive. So our manifesto overall is that the faster you can move, the quicker you could get out product, the more you'll learn, and the more you'll be able to deliver value to your customers and succeed. Um, I think this is what a lot of the other companies are also on board with. I heard um, RNIO had some great thoughts around you know, deploying quicker. Uh, the insight that LaunchDarkly addresses is the issue of rollout. You have all these great tools that allow you to push stuff out quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker, but even when you're pushing stuff out quicker and quicker and quicker, you also want stuff to roll stuff out quicker and quicker and quicker. You know, um, we've all been part of a bad release that's out in the field, and you really want it to just stop. And this is the idea of a canary launch. The idea of a canary launch is the idea that you can push code out, expose it to different users, and get their reaction. And of course, the key part of this is being able to quickly roll it back. You know, if something is a mess in the field, if you have a bad build out there, you want to be able to quickly pull it back, you know, kind of stop the bleeding. And that's why it's called a canary launch. Um, this is after, the ca in coal mines, the miners used to carry a canary down with them. Not because the canaries were good singers, but because canaries are very sensitive to carbon monoxide. So if a canary stopped singing, if it stopped, started wobbling, the miners knew that it was time to grab the canary and get the hell out of there. Um, so this is the idea of a canary launch, is that you can try out some of your features, see their reaction, and then roll it back. And now in a triumph of hope over experience, um, I'm going to do a live demo, uh, as I've been warned that they don't always work. So this is a demo site that we built, um, which is an e-commerce site. Um, and as you can see, we're selling a lot of t-shirts and mugs. Um, right now, we just deployed a feature which allows you to do a hover. Um, if for whatever reason you hear that, hey, this hover is broken, it's not doing very well, with LaunchDarkly, what you could do is you could go to your dashboard and you could say, okay, I have this new feature called swap image on hover, and it's not doing very well. Um, without LaunchDarkly, you would have to call up your developers, get them to do a hot, pit, hot patch, and you know, this might be a lag of, if you're really quick, 15 minutes. With LaunchDarkly, what you could do is you could just hit, this feature isn't working, kill it. And then when I go and I, as a user, refresh that site, you can see it's, not, it's gone. This is a really simple example. Um, you could think of a lot more sophisticated examples. For example, if you're hitting a backend system and it's dragging down your entire site and you just want to kill it, which is what some of our customers are using LaunchDarkly for. Uh, a more sophisticated example is um, something that uh, our co my co-founder John saw a lot at Atlassian where he ran the marketplace, which was you want to test different sort orders. So let me walk you through that one. So you have a new feature called alternate sor sort order, and you want to start exposing it to different users to get their reaction. So we offer you a dashboard where you can say, okay, um, this lady named Ernestina, she's going to have access to that new feature. Um, as you can see, it's still the same sort order because I'm not Ernestina. If I log in, and log in, you can see that I see this new sort order. Again, this is the idea of a canary launch that Ernestina is now acting as a canary. She can give you feedback, is, is this feature more efficient? Is it providing more value? Is it useful? Uh, so we, we offer two ways to do uh, canary launches. The one I just showed you, which is by a named user. Something that's more powerful also is to do a stage rollout where you could say, okay, for all random traffic, as you can see right now, I'm logged out. I'm an anonymous user. Um, you can start to scale up. This is really useful if you want to test the load on a system. Um, some of our customers ran into this exact problem last week. They had a feature that you know, passed QA with flying colors, seemed to do really well. What they didn't know is that was putting this increasing load on a backend system that was eventually going to cripple the entire thing. With, a, with a, a stage rollout like this, you can roll it out, make sure that there's no changes, no destruction, and then you know, keep rolling it out. My anonymous user isn't in this bucket yet. If I go to a certain tipping point,
you could see now this bucket of traffic is in this. Again, this is a really powerful tool because this is with real traffic. You don't have to set up a separate QA stager or separate performance matrix, which you should also do as a best practice, but this really allows you to see usage in real life. And if you, know, you get the report back, hey, this new sorter is killing everything, turn it off. You don't have to scramble and do a new build. Just say, OK, done, turn it off. Um, we think Canary launches are very powerful, and they're just part of what LaunchSharkly offers. But this is a tool that a lot of people really like in terms of misc litigation. So in conclusion, uh, we're really happy to be part of Heavybit, and thanks. Thank you.